children of Arkham. Boom. I also have pizza. You can't have any of it. I uh, just wanted to mention it. This is also, I think, the shortest episode. Coming in at only like one hour and fifteen minutes. When this whole thing starts, make sure generally on side. As long as you don't forget what the hell you're doing. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change. Hold on. The sworn I added. All right, there we go. That fixes it. Apply, and there we go. The Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. What? And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes what? from Gotham's biggest Did crime family? I, I turned it on for a second. No. Right back okay, I Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> Chemicals. A... Where are they? Go. We're all being played in, including you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Hey, uh, do any of you know the psychological effects of World War One? Shit, did he just reply back? Jimmy, let me know. Okay. All right, I'll keep that. At least next week they want to keep it. Try again. You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. 
Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Just give me some time to think it through, okay? This is the first time I've been back here since that night. Either that smoke or that water droplets. I thought they finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known, too, too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You've always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. <sighs> Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. All right. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? Hmm. He was stabbed to death in prison. Well... Everyone mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Well, I guess that's the Nolan talking. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. <sighs> Why isn't she blonde? I know it doesn't matter, but I always just kind of assumed Martha was blonde. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Was Crime Alley a street or... Where exactly does the memory a, a, Like an actual just alley. With my father pleading... Because they keep kind of changing. You don't have to do this. Because this is technically in Park Row, first. which just got renamed to Crime Alley. After that. Of just how much crime was in it. Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Pick who, where you were. Stay back. Take whatever you want. And 
university. Just business. They told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. Assassin take the wallet and pearls. Just what were they Falcones? Eh, it's not worth it. He's just a kid. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated, and Carmine Falcone knows why. That does not look like the police station. They're getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. No, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you. But this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. Better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... That's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines okay. taken away from my debate me, with Me, as Bruce Wayne, Gentlemen, solemnly swear. We finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh. I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Now, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, God, some of us police so support you, Montoya. despite what the media is saying. Oh, thanks, Sergeant. Wait a minute. She hasn't been in the Batman material I've watched keeping or Falcone read. in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I don't I could think tell I Batman saw her any him, of the old cartoons that used to run on that he cares one Hasbro about doing the right site. Thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. That, uh, besides you, Gordon, and inside. a little bit of Montoya, say what you gotta say. the rest of these people we'll be out here. don't really like, okay? God, it's already been 14 minutes. Oh, this is gonna be long. What the hell? Why didn't he get a blanket? Okay, fuck off. Falcone was not that hurt. Bruce Wayne. Oh yeah, it's because you could have brutalized you him. You must have I forgot. Clout. My own wife can't get him to see me. 
Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. And they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? You know, I hurt him. Eases, eases pain. I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole file, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. You know, just it would like be that. funny reminds me of if he mother. just revealed the Carmine that he's Batman may have been the doctor, and that he actually mother, revealed to Gordon she had the <laughs> that there was a crap ton of evidence that he found. So. Tell the truth. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? Because it's kind of like the guy from Brave and the Bull. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Where he uh, never actually wanted to... Waiting for you in hell. The bastard had to die. Hands in the air. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets in or out. Go. Jesus. No! What the hell's with all the police brutality crap? You know, from those who aren't cops. We are in deep shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Ah, it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Ah, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. Now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. 
got to spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to right. know why she did this. Uh. Hey, uh... Alfred. Uh. Falcone's been murdered. Good God. Excuse me. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. I think I prefer Safeway's pizzas, to be honest. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. That's a store here. Injection site. Mm -hmm. Look like blood. Thank you. Her veins. No, Bruce, was it Still really necessary to put out. Oh, it's your phone. I, I forgot. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. So, the it villain is either light. Scarecrow Do or Poison Ivy or... Guilt. No consequence. You know what? Poison Ivy. It there makes no sense. In my ear, insisting she can brainwash people get off. to do her bidding. All I need was that I had to stop She's that. bisexual, so it makes sense. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Wait. Anarchy! Lobot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, hey, don't worry about found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I well, I mean, I've already got a sample. Got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce. Mm, it's very suspicious, Vicky, Wh that you you're here. My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. No, Sorry, no Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving, words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Didn't you hear me? I said no comment. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. 
a day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? Hey, isn't that... I can tell like... by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Yes. A police sergeant. The name Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. near me this time. <laughs> you know, doesn't anyone find Either it suspicious that Montoya Bruce Wayne's someone else car is using his revolutionary rhetoric. drives Either into way, the woods to, to go into Let's the back caves? Doesn't anyone search. find that kind of I'll suspicious? I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar Shouldn't that be in the lab? Dogs. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one. Or maybe free. it was he told meant you something to make he was killed. Bruce look suspicious what did you learn from him practically family he said family funny i don't recall any sunday dinners with the mob it wasn't falcone who called the hit yes well i suppose that makes sense your father hill and falcone would have balanced each other out Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. So there's only one person that makes the most sense to have put the head out on him. The Vicky Vale. The base chemicals. The reaction oh, was. Oh come on! It makes the most messy. sense. We're out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you... Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. A new goth. Now! And a strong message! Don't 
are waiting in the wings for you. I'm guessing they're talking about Catwoman. Coney's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Done. We got some Batman Beyond tech right here, baby. Expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly um, the defender of the city, you do finish the remember job what I did, right? Falcone deserved to die. <sighs> God damn it, Ryder. Roman like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people they couldn't Yeah, buy. I know, he's embezzling money from his Here's company. I actually admire you. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> Seriously, is this killer cough or not? Seriously, can't tell. Better have to try. 
try harder than this. <laughs> Shit. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Oh. Why would you have Alfred track them down? Um, hood, hood. Bruce, you idiot. Bruce, buddy. Why the fuck are you wearing that hood? This hoodie and, uh. Is that Bruce Wayne? You really think you'd show up here? Oh, yeah, the city doesn't uh, truly Bruce hate me yet. Hey, do you know where Selena is? Didn't you see the game here, asshole? Are you blind or something? My bad. I'm not looking for trouble. It looks like it found you. Wait, a minute, I know you. You're that rich dude. You're that guy on the news. I think you got the wrong guy. Who do you think you're talking to? Your face is all over the TV. Bruce, stop stirring up the natives and buy me a drink. And also raise that gun. This guy's with you. Face it, Frank, hood. you suck at pool. Why are you starting trouble over it? <sighs> nice one, Bruce. Way to keep a low profile. Yeah. So it's a very detective my ass. You can't even put up a hood. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. I'm sorry. sorry things went down the way they did, but I have information. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding. I knew I shouldn't have eaten his bird. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. It's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. Because... The reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, 
There's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat. And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Shit. You know, at least it's keeping true to the modern penguin and not the... Well, Bruce... You theatric thief Kyle? penguin. Penguin says hello. Although I do Beat wish it. you'd get Where a little... her. You care about your own skin? You'll get the hell out. Gentlemen, please. Sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking. Well, Why aren't these people circus freaks? Less money. You gotta think about the money, people. Not done yet. Give it to him. <laughs> Holy shit. That was just awesome. You know, Bruce, you should really put up a new alias of matches. Pretty boy. Uh, put up the damn hood. Bruce. Come on, this way. The hood. No, let's be a good friend. Move. Back. We should go. We should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Thanks Wait. for the easy job. 
Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say hey, yeah, yes. Makes sense. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Yeah, I know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. Hood. 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 <laughs> Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. It wasn't that Bruce Wayne? Ah, uh, no, he has a ton of cars. That could be anyone's. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor. Oh, what happened to your? He really can't be disturbed right now. Excuse me, Mr. Wayne. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir, Bruce Wayne, to see you. He'll be. Uh, lady, you should really get that checked out. Bruce Wayne. Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Hey. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. You know, I, I'd actually hoped I'd never have to meet you in person. Then you made a mistake bursting in here. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. You know, or you don't you just... really look like you're, uh... Tones. Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, 
Let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottled his pockets. Now, uh, what's I don't that see a rival. To say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up. I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your you know, house to take your I think things. I preferred I Arkham Seer the, Ar the animated series like version father. of Hill. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I would never stoop so low. My backbone doesn't have the bend. Let me put it this way. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. Sure, buddy. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security in the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. We are the children of Arkham. I think this is still like the first real piece of Batman media in the modern age to actually treat Bruce's parents with a lo with a lot of suspicion. That went mainstream. What else is on here? Because Arkham never did that. As per your request, the movies Lieutenant haven't Gordon really done that until now. At the debate. Think and so. the cartoons, nope. It's a plan of the, the cartoons are actually the auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed, first by a Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you now more than ever. I'll uh, leave you to it then. Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. All right. Wait a minute. Let's do this. Cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. 
Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want. Something's wrong as Arkham. That he may have been Seriously, that was like the exact same re like uh, reason Batman had to go some somewhere as like an assault on Arkham. That's just. Weird. Isn't it just so great the Batmobile doesn't have any doors? Harvey needs to get out of there. When it goes into Batmobile mode. That makes so much sense. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. What? Why? What happened? Are you alright? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. No, you mean because of this penguin threat. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of... Well... Uh, look, Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but my advisors are telling me that I need to, <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> Yeah, I know. But here's the I'm your guardian angel, man. Money. It's gonna I... be the Dark Knight and the White Knight, the most epic I know this is of partner comedies. Keep me afloat. Oh God, it looks like his hands made of plastic. You and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I, I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch it's the debate. It's so over. subtle. Uh, no the game's hinting that he has to become Two Face. You are always my friend. Yes, yes, Harvey. Yep, yep. Where's your friend? so far I've got a feeling that's about to change wait a minute are we friends I'm glad I took a chance on this this collaboration of ours keep on doing what you're doing and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do a hero hero is a lofty title I hope I live up to it could be tonight's the night to prove it we have bigger things to worry about right now your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Well... Come back to bite. She's on Alpha Patrol, a kind of kind of our side, but she's really out for her own skin. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I knew. So the same ovation you had in, let's say, uh, you know, like you rises. I cut some people up. You don't owe me. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? 
Now, aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Yep. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates. Incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. Candidates will tackle it all. <gasps> Boom! At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn sons of bitches! As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Wow. Firing the moderator. You can't even have a top hat on. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages—I don't like their chances. Um, Nobody else dies. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Well, things are going Batman. Yeah, I know it's lame, but it's super not, well, life threatening. This, on the other hand, he's getting a serious burn. No, I think a lot of people might criticize this Batman. Maybe next time. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. <laughs> Would it be funny if he just did, did it non verbally? A word from our sponsor. I don't know, brothers and sisters of God. 
Hey, Vicky. Let someone else do your dirty work. Go on, love. You know what to do. to love? What about Harvey? What ain't Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV? What's going on in there? Our soft pusher and Surrey. Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. <laughs> well, if people were suspicious of Bruce, uh, they're definitely going to hate him chance. after this. You should have made the deal we offered you. Is that guy Jonathan Crane? You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> Holy crap, that is. Big blue guys. 
Your biggest supporter. And you gave me reason to <laughs> up. He was my The revolution's already started. It's too late. To I don't care about your revolution. Your revolution is over, Penguin. I'm pretty sure this would have been uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, Penguin. It's like a perfect representation of all the villains in that series. Alright. Now we can save Dent, and he doesn't get the scarring. But I think he still ends up the exact same way, just from the trauma and probably that, uh, injection. Good news, I couldn't find a coin, so we're just picking Harvey. Sorry, Catwoman. It's bros before hoes. Save Harvey. Catwoman even minds. Where's the maniac in the mask? Well, want one. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne, Lieutenant, he's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman, save me. And I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. 
The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know 